get to the lead. Let's go. Yeah, going well. Still just got stitches in there, just kind of taking it day by day. But yeah, it's not hurting too bad. Just probably going to wear the mask for a while now. Think you'll be pl uh, wearing that again this, this weekend? Probably, yeah. Okay. I think so. Okay. Or so they might make you wear it, given you gave, made so many threes the other day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I probably will end up wearing it for a while just to give it a little more uh, time to recover in case get hit again. But yeah, just one of those things. Alex and Gigi, what do you think about the way they played? I mean, obviously their roles have kind of changed with the two guys out. They've got more minutes. Um, Alex had a really good offensive game the other day. Um, how, how much of a boost have they given you guys? Oh, they were great. Yeah, I mean, those two guys, I think all three of us bigs, I mean, we, we have the ability to stretch the floor and make some threes. I think that puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Uh, but those guys especially, because, yeah, that's one thing that they can bring to every game is uh, making threes and creating uh, off the bounce too. So I was glad to see them do so well, and I think they can just uh, continue moving forward. What seems out to you about Utah and film so far? About Utah? Yeah. Uh, they're a very young, very athletic team. I mean, they're they're very uh, they, I guess, have a lot of offensive firepower. They uh, kind of run their offense through Justin Bibbins, and he's a very good player. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're going to be a, a very tough test for us. But I think we'll be ready for a fight. Have you played against Justin Bibbins before? You guys are both kind of local. Yeah, I've never guys? I've never okay. played against him. I knew him growing up, but yeah, I never actually had a chance to. Oh, oh, I guess uh, at Long Beach State, he was there. I played against him in college, but okay. never in high school or adolescent years. Okay. Yeah. When you, go ahead. No, you got it. When you see what Stanford did to SC, does it make you feel a little bit better? Because it just shows that you know they can do that to another good team. I mean, it's it's the Pac-12, and any team can do that on any given night. Uh, I mean, of course, that's one we wanted to win. We want to win all our games. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of the thing. I mean, Stanford's a very good team. They had their player uh, Dorian Pickens back, which is one of their better guys. And yeah, I mean, that's just one thing they can do. I mean, they got that win and that was very, very big for them. So yeah, they're a very yeah, just a capable team. Very capable team. Thomas, you're familiar with Utah. What are some keys that you feel that you guys need to um, do to get this win? I think execution is going to be very important for us. Uh, their team, especially their coach, uh, Chris Stoyak, is a guy that I think emphasizes that a ton to them. Uh, he calls a lot of great plays for him and just puts him in a lot of uh, situations to be successful. Uh, so I think we have to counteract that and, yeah, just try to be uh, uh, efficient on defense and our positioning and our help. And, yeah, just try to execute the best we can offensively to be efficient. Do you feel you, uh, your and uh, Alex pick and pop is crucial for this uh, game? I think, yeah, I think it, it, it kind of provides a little wrinkle to our offense and because uh, it makes it harder. Because, I mean, if you're trying to guard Aaron off the screen, you want to give as much help as you can. It'll give uh, guys like Alex, me, and Gigi more space to uh, knock down threes off pick and pop situations. So, yeah, it's just kind of just trying to play off one another. And, yeah, I think that's one area that uh, is, is really effective for us.